How devastating would it be for Arizona, Ray? Frank Saravelli, I think, wrote a piece today on Taylor Hall. They pick him up, then maybe if they keep diving, they got to move him? Has that ever happened before where you, you... You have a rental and then you have to flip the rental? Yeah, but like a guy of that remember. status. You know I can't I mean? remember. Not of that status. No, but, but so let's... So they let's say they decide in, um, in 10 days that, okay, yeah, they got to trade Hall, that they're not, you know, they're not sure about where they are. Um, so the assets that they gave up, can they recoup that in a deal? And I, I would say they can. I mean, yes. it's, it's, a, it's a bad luck, but, you know, because you're like, oh, you can't even get them to stay. But what if, what if all of a sudden you decide, okay, we're not going to make it. So, or, or we're going to be nip and tuck to make it. Um, why don't we trade them to Boston? Like Boston's been looking for that second line winger forever. Like, what if you can pull some of the, like, that's a really good prospect pool. What if you can pull something out of there that makes what you gave up to get them in the first place? Not so significant. Like they, they it's not ideal for sure, man. Like they, they've got it. They've got a whole whack of guys. Like, Taylor Hall has not been the problem here offensively. For a team that never scores, he's not been the problem. You know, Kessel's got 12 goals. Vinny hinnestros has got one goal in, like, 32 games. Nick Schmaltz, who's supposed to be their top-line center, he's got eight goals. Like, they're, they got a whole bunch of guys that just don't, don't get anything done. And so may, maybe they will get there because every game they play, it's 3-2 or 2-1 if they have a chance to win. Ray, I was talking to somebody out of New Jersey, and you know, as much as great as Taylor Hall was and won the heart that year, they said it was, and, and I, I think this stems back to Edmonton days too. He's very tough to play with. Like for him, them to find people to play with Taylor, he's a straight line guy. You know, he doesn't. He's not a lot of give and go. Um, you know, when you watch Taylor, like, you know, what type of guy does he need to play with? Like, does he need a puck distributor? Because he's, he's not a shooter. He's more of a skater. And then try and get it to the net. Like, I, I was watching him last night, and he wasn't using his line mates that much. Like, it's, it's almost like he needs a unique situation to flourish because that's kind of how it was in, in Jersey. Well, I, I'm with you that, you know, I, I often think of him as a shooter. But then I'm like, but he's not really, right. you know, what he is, what he is, is, uh, I think he's as, you know, as a forward, he's a, a top end transporter. Like he gets the puck from one end to the other. He can, um, he can do it fast. He can protect the puck. Um, I think he needs more of a, um, like a stronger, fast guy to play with. So once they get into the zone, they can work off the cycle. I don't, cause I, I mean, he's a, terrific on the cycle because he's so strong and so powerful like he can come out of the corner and shoot it or he can make a play around the net he's not an easy guy to to play with for sure um there's uh, i heard this term uh, a couple of years ago and applied it to hockey uh, applied it to a player and the coach was talking about a player and he said he's kind of an independent contractor and i'm like that i think kind of fits for for taylor hall he's like he's kind of on he kind of does his own thing um, not, not I don't think by design, but that's just the way he plays. Right. He's fast. He's a straight line guy. He's he's not a give and go guy, but could you know as I I throw the Boston example, could could he be effective with somebody like David Krejci? I'm sure probably lots of guys could be.